the shadow created by the sun. Check this out. So uh, what we have here, surface of Earth, here's an observer, and this shows the sun's path. Now, obviously, this is not the sky. It's trying to represent the sky, I guess. Um, and it shows the sun's path during the day, this case July 21st. And as the sun rises here, the sun moves throughout the, out the uh, morning like this. Solar noon is here, and then sunset is over here. And uh, notice that in this case, we're looking at it like this. North is this way, south is this way. And another perspective to look at it is like this, where they kind of swapped it around. Now, north is south is this way, I'm sorry. North is over there, and this is a different day. Uh, and we'll get into that. What I want to focus on is the shadow that is uh, created by the sun. And so to do that, what I did was I got my flashlight and I got pirate guy here. And we filmed some quick videos just to show how it works. Check it out. The relationship between the height of the sun in the sky and shadow is important. So what I have here is a flashlight and this dude, this like pirate guy. Okay and I'm going to show how this works. So, this is going to represent the sun, this flashlight here. So, when the sun is low, look how long the shadow of Pirate Guy is. And as I bring this higher in the sky, the sun's higher in the sky, higher, 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 the shadow gets shorter, shorter, shorter. And then when, the, when it's directly overhead, he basically has no shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it back down again. The lower in the sky, the lower the angle, the longer his shadow gets. And then basically at like sunrise or sunset, the shadow gets almost infinitely long. So now, Pirate Guy and our flashlight are going to help us see what the shadow would look like uh, during the course of a day. Okay, so we're going to stand Pirate Guy up. Notice the compass rose right there. And we're going to start uh, like right here, sunrise. Okay, so look at the length of the shadow. Sun is rising, sun's rising, rising through the morning, rising through the morning. And then that would be noon right there. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so at noon, notice the shadow is shortest for the day because the sun is highest in the sky and the shadow points due north. Okay, now I'm gonna to continue to play. Okay, it goes past noon and the sun starts to be going down, a shadow gets longer and longer and longer and longer and longer, and then we're basically at sunset. Thanks, pirate guy. Okay, those are pretty cool. I think they show it well. What I'm going to do now is kind of show it in the real world. This is a video that I filmed in my driveway in the summer of 2012. What were you doing in the summer of 2012? I know what I was doing when I was filming this video, but it does really show how the sun moves throughout a good chunk of the day. So let's watch that now. All right, I think those videos really show it. This is a tough topic and doing things like that, you know, watch them again if you need to. Really get it into your brain to understand it because you experience you experience the sun every single day, but it's still really hard. So this is hard, but it's very uh, you can learn it. You just got to really put your time in. So for instance, this is a type of question that you may get. Look at that length of shadow. So this would be short shadow long shadow at really uh, throughout from sunrise to sunset and this is solar noon. I think this was a multiple choice question. The correct uh, choice looks like this. Okay. It is long, shortest, see, shortest shadow at solar noon and longest at sunrise and sunset. And hopefully those videos um, that I filmed with uh, my friend Pirate Guy really helped. Hope you're enjoying this review. For more review videos, a lot more, Click the link in the description. So here's a question here where you have A, B, C, D. At which location of the sun would the shadow of the observer be the longest? I'll let you think about it for a second, but the answer is going to be 
D, right? The lower in the sky, the longer the shadow. This is a multiple choice question, and hopefully if you know that, it will be a pretty straightforward question for you. Uh, this one is, what direction is the man facing? And the key part is that you're told this it represents noon or solar noon in New York State. See his shadow and see the tree. So hopefully you recognize this, and this is a big one. It's north. At solar noon, the shadow of the sun points due north. Okay, so make sure you know it. Uh, here's another one. So we have a di always look at what you're looking at here. You have different, uh, we have just labeled June 21st and December 21st. So at noon of which of these two days will the man's shadow be the shortest? Okay, shortest shadow. So you really got to think about it. So this here would be the shadow on December 21st. I kind of represented his shadow, length of his shadow. Okay, because it's lower in the sky. And on June 21st, it would be like this. It would be shorter because the sun is higher in the sky at solar noon. Therefore, uh, he will have the shortest shadow on June 21st. This stuff's important. Make sure you know it. 